care to do. OK, so here we are in the learning strategies class. And we're going over the calendar review uh, just to keep everybody uh, understanding how it's all going to work. And uh, so uh, we are in the exam weeks now. So exam weeks have started. They go right through this week and next week. And uh, part of this week, the 31st is listed as turnaround day. So I'm just going to mark it as a no school day. And so I should use the right thing here. So technically, the 31st, you don't have to do any work. It's the in-between day between semester one and semester two. OK? So that's what this is right here, the 31st. OK? Um, how many people, give me a green check mark, had a, a semester one class that ended that's ending, you're in semester one class. How many people have at least one semester one class? OK. Did you guys meet that deadline? Give me a smiley. If you met the deadline uh, for last week, uh, the 10th. So a smiley if you met the 10th to get all your work in. OK. So I'm looking for everybody to give me that deadline. Any work for core subjects had to be in by the 10th. OK. OK, good. Now, um, that's a good thing. Now this week, if you want, if you, if you have a semester one option class that's finishing up, say workplace safety, e-learning, uh, art, maybe you have an art uh, for three credits, although I don't think any of you do. Um, you could have some foods classes. Those are due this week on the 17th. How many people, give me a smiley, have uh, classes that they want to finish up for the 17th? OK, so Arkham's got one. Mackenzie, oh, most of you have something you're trying to finish up for the 17th. OK, good. So that's what we're aiming for. Now, if you have full year classes, any work that you get in by the 17th will help you to uh, see a mark on your report card, a good mark on your report card, so that you know, you've know you got a bunch of stuff in. So how many people have full year classes, and they're expecting to put just a little bit more work in by Friday to help that? Give me a green check mark. There you go. Excellent. So everybody's working pretty hard to get some things done by the end of the week. Perfect. All right, you're trying to get your science in. Good. Hi, Lisa. We're just going over the calendar. OK, now that's good to hear, Anna. Now, some people have made arrangements with teachers to just keep working till the end here on some courses. So even though these deadlines have gone by, if you've spoken to your teacher, you might be able to squeak your work into the uh, 22nd or yeah, right in here somewhere in order to uh, get it onto the report card. Okay. So make sure if you need an extension or anything like that, that you've talked to your teacher. And please let me know that you're doing that as well. OK? On your planning calendar, that's the best place to show me what's going on. All right, and, and Dina and Richard. All right, how are people doing there? So Lisa, we've just been going over the calendar. These were the, the dates for to get work in. This is a turnaround day, no school on that day. All right. Now, who can remember what the green circles are? Who can remember those? These are skiing. That's right. So this one's not skiing here. I'll move this one for now, because I need to find one more date there. OK, so skiing is happening on all these green circles. And that's a great way to get some phys ed hours, um, some alternate phys ed hours in. Uh, so I'd like to see you guys 
signing up and getting to the ski hill at least once or twice. Okay, who, those of you in Suzette, and I think most of you in here are. All right, yeah, this one. Okay, now this one on this date is the Zumba class, but we'll talk about that. I think Zumba is right here. Okay, um, the skiing and snowboarding cost thirty dollars, but like always, if that's a hardship, you should speak to me because we can get some help and slide it down a little bit if it's too expensive for your family. Okay, any of you in that boat? All right, if it's a little bit too much money, we can always get it shifted a little bit. Per time, that's right, $30 per time. Because they give you all your equipment, they give you a lesson so that you can learn how to do it, and then you can ski right up till 9 o'clock or snowboard. But you have to have a note from your parents to stay that long. Otherwise, you have to be off the hill by 1.30. Okay? But we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow in phys ed class. Okay? All right, so that pretty much leads us through uh, what's going on. What I want to check right now is about the exams. So let's go back to this screen. So on this screen, what I want you to do is think about the exams that you have to take uh, this in the next few weeks. Okay, now here's one. This one was going on today. But let's just say I'm in English 30, so I wrote English 30, Part A. It was my diploma. And I wrote it on Monday, January 13th. So, you know, I say I was looking ahead and this day wasn't here yet. Then my other students in the class could sign up too. They'll put their initials underneath. So to start with right now, I want you to write any classes that you have exams in. Okay, any classes that you have exams and start typing them on the board. Okay, and these are exams that are going to be complete by the end of January. Okay, so there's somebody who's in Math 10C. All right, put the, put the date underneath. So put the date of that exam right underneath. Okay. And what we're doing here is just getting a sense of when the exams are. So I want everybody who's got a class with an exam to write the name of that class on the screen. Now, so if you're in Math 10C, then you don't have to write it again. Just add your initials underneath here. Just add your initials underneath. Are you in Math 10C? Your exam it looks like is on January 24th, so I want everybody who's in the same class to double check, make sure they've got it right. Science 10, your January 22nd. Maybe put the time on there as well, and that's going to help others. Okay, there you go. So put your initials underneath the class that you've got. Put the time on there. That's it. That's the way. So Science 14, you've got an exam. If you know when it's going to be, put the date and the time. All right. So let's keep putting all of them on here. Put your initials on. What about English? Uh, 20, anybody in English? 20. Math, when are the math exams? Science 14, good. Let's put Science 14 together with this one. So you guys who put Science 14 on the board, here, let's just put them together. That's OK. Now what I want you to do is put your initials underneath here. So whoever's written these two, your initials should appear underneath here. OK. In the, ch in the participants window, give me a green check mark if you have exams coming up. Red X if you have no exams to do. 
a red X in the participants window if you have no exams. Oh, all the other people must be sleeping. Oh, or they can't hear me. So Sharon, do you have exams? Okay, I should see everybody's initials on here. So Kaylee and Arkham. No, Kaylee and Anna have Science 14. Sarah, is that you or is that Sharon over here? Sarah has Science 10. Sharon, okay, you have Science 10. Who has Physics? Ah, there it is. So uh, maybe you guys are out looking for the dates. That's perfect. That's what I want you to find. Now the next thing you have to do is sign up for your exam. Okay, and if you go to School Zone, you can sign up for your exam. Let me just find it here. Uh, school Zone. On the news, in School Zone, mine's going slow and loading right now. There is a place that says high school exam information and registration. Okay, so go there and you will find out information about signing up for your final exams. Okay. All right, if you click there, you will find a PowerPoint that tells you how to sign up and your exam schedule. Okay, did how many people have signed up for their exams? Can you give me a note? in the chat box that tells me you've signed up for your exams. Okay, if you haven't, I'll spend more time finding the links. Okay. Actually, what I should do is just show you where I went here. Sharon signed up. Jessica, you've signed up. Good. Mackenzie, have you found your way to the exams? You've signed up. Perfect. I see you there. Good. Perfect. Sarah, have you signed up for your exam, Sarah? Since I'm running the recording, what I'll do is just show you. So. What you have to do to go to your school, to the exam schedule is like this. Okay, I'm just going to show you like this. Here we go. Okay. So what you have to do is go to school zone. Can you guys see me okay? Give me a smiley. Okay. So you go to School Zone, okay, and you can see here are um, the the news, the school news. So if you go here, there's a little piece right here that's the high school exam information and registration, and it's you can click right here. Um, there's a whole preparation here for final exams, okay, and it tells you all kinds of details. So I'm just going to put this in presentation mode. Are you still with me there? Smileys if you can still, you're still with me, okay. So if I put this in registration mode, in presentation mode, now I'm not seeing you guys, but I'll just 
click through. So just click one after the other, and you can read through it. It gives you the exam schedule. Tells you where you can write. And here's where you can register, right here. And if you click on these guys, if you're in English, there's what it looks like. So each one of those has a link. OK? So that's if you go through the presentation. All right. Now, I think if you go here, you'll get to the same place. Oops, nope, that's the wrong one. All right, nope, don't go there. All right. And here is a document that's intended to assist you. Here's where you want to go. This is your best link. I'm going to drop this one into the chat box. Anybody who hasn't signed up, you can figure out how to sign up by clicking on that link. OK? And there's all the sign up forms. Are you guys good there? Give me a green check mark if you understand that you need to sign up for your exams. Kaylee, are you good there? Yeah, they want to just make sure that it's you. Right? If you bring a parent with you, they can vouch for you if you don't have a picture ID. Parent or guardian. OK. But you should get a school ID. They cost $5, so get one when you're here, OK? It's good to have school ID. All right, so I'm going to quit sharing. Uh, Sharon, Sharon K, are you good? You understand about signing up and all? Sarah, do you have a question? All right, Sarah, do you understand about signing up? Oh, people are falling out. Arkham, are you clear about signing up? Just give me a green check mark. And Colt, how about you? So Sharon and Sarah, just give me a green check mark there in the participants window. Arkham's good. Colt, are you good? Not really, OK. Let's stay after class and just make sure you get all signed up, OK? Okay, and we'll just do it. Make sure you're ready. All right, and you're coming in tomorrow. That's good. We just have to make sure you don't have an exam before tomorrow, and then you'll be fine. Okay, so those are exams. And if we look at the document that I put in the chat window there, let me just grab mine. It, on it, it has um, some ways to uh, prepare for exams as well. So you could uh, go to exam bank and practice, do practice exams there. And you can go to uh, this site here, which has a variety of different things to use for practicing to take your test. And let me show you what that is. I probably shouldn't have stopped sharing here. OK, let me just share one more time. So here's some more things you can do. All right. So the link I clicked on is this one right here. And that took me to the high school prep. All right. All right. You've got Math 10.3 and Social 10.2. OK, we'll figure that out. So you would click. So go ahead and click on that link that I put in the chat box. And there you can sign up for your exams after I'm done talking, OK, by clicking on these links. And it'll tell you the date of your exam, and it will 
get you to sign up where you're going to take it. Okay. Now this was the one I was pointing out, the symbol of exam prep things, and it takes you to here. So the symbol has a few different ways to practice um, your exams, for your exams. Okay. There's Solero and Exam Bank and the key. Quest A Plus, those are all different ways of practicing for the exams, primarily over here. Okay. All right. So, Anna, we're just going over this document right here, which I got from School Zone right here. Or you can click on the link I put in the chat box. I'll put it back in just in case you can't see it. There it is again. All right. So I think most everybody's clear. If you're not, we'll go back over some things afterwards, OK? Oops. Here we go. OK. All righty. So now let's go on the planning calendars. Okay. I'd like everybody to update their planning calendars. How many people have uh, everything on their planning calendar? It's all up to date and ready to go. Give me a green check mark. Oh, no, no green check marks. OK. Let's open up the planning calendars and take a look at them. OK. Those are going to help me to help you figure out your semester two classes if you haven't done so already. So let's get the planning calendars open. Give me a green check mark when yours is open. All right. And I'm going to go and start looking at them. All right, whoops, I just closed what I wanted. Uh, is everybody opening their planning calendars? Oops. Okay, I'm getting in there. Take a look. You see what I'm getting from the chat box? So, Jessica, yours is completely up to date. Okay. So, what I'm going to do when you've got a completely up to date calendar, I'm going to make sure you have your semester two classes. And you don't have anything for semester two. Okay. So let's just see what we can do here. So let me look at Jessica's. Great planning calendar. Now, Jessica, what I need to know is which math you're interested in taking there. You've got math on there. Is that math 10C or math 10-3? And which social? Social 10-1, which is a little more rigorous, right? Or social 10-2? OK. All right. Now, carry over anything that's full year. So if you've got an English, go ahead and add that to your semester 2. OK. Your science, you're going full year. And you're ahead. That's good, Jessica. Keep getting ahead in your science, because if we add math 10.3 and social 10-2, that's going to be a lot. OK? Does that make sense? Keep going ahead. 
OK. That's good. So let me make a note. OK, Jessica. So Jessica, I think you're pretty good. Alright, so Jessica, maybe what you could do is make sure you have your goals set for today while I work with the others. Just kind of work, get your work out. Alright, and uh, then we'll do the last bit. Okay, let me talk with Mackenzie. So Mackenzie, I'm going to get yours out here. So Mackenzie, you did a big plan, right, for when you're going to finish high school? And your plan's done. Okay, let me just take a look here. Give me a green check mark when I, when your planning calendar is all up to date. Okay, before I move on to the next thing. Okay. Uh -huh. So Mackenzie, we should be adding Sharon, I'll help you pick your new classes here in just a minute. I'll show you how it works. Um, let me just take a peek at Mackenzie's. Science 10 and Calm is what we're adding, right, Mackenzie? I believe that's the one. Yes. So Science 10 and Calm for Mackenzie. OK. Now, I have two things, essentially, that I'd like us to do before we go here. And one of them is to make sure we've once we've got the planning calendar done, that we go and do an exercise on goal setting. And then those of you who haven't worked on your credit maps with me, we're going to work on the credit maps, OK? So that you can know when you're going to graduate and so on. Um, hold on here. Planning calendar is all done. Anna, is yours up to date? Give me a green check mark or a red X if it's not. You can always take a little longer. Anna, you're good? OK, I'm just going to open them up. And let's see, Arkham, how about you? Not done, OK. Uh, let's see, Kaylee and Lisa, give me a red X if your planning calendar is not done. Give me a, OK, thank you, Lisa. And Kaylee, how are you doing there? 
Mackenzie, I think you can go. The only last thing I want you to do is check the goal that you set last week. Did you have a goal last week? Yeah, you did. So Mackenzie, I'm going to put you on Rome. And I want you to find the goals that you made for last week and just mark them as complete or not. Okay. Anna, you had goals too. Let me just, Mackenzie, I'm going to interrupt you for a minute. Okay, so the planning calendars are done. The credit maps and the picking of courses takes a little bit longer. So we're going to do that one on one after the class has officially stopped, but we're still in the timing of the class. So some of you will just have to kind of wait in line on that one. But I'll turn you loose on it and show you how it works. Um, for right now, I just want to talk about goals and the kind of goals that we need to be setting. And they're SMART goals. Okay, SMART goals are really specific. OK, I'll show you where to find it. So SMART goals are specific, all right? Instead of saying, I'm going to go to the school, you would say, I'm going to go to school on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Give me a smiley if that makes sense, that you can tell that that's quite a bit more specific. OK, now, would you guess Give me a green check mark if you think that going to the school on Tuesday at 10 o'clock is a measurable goal. Give me a green check mark if you think it is. I'm going to go to the school at 10 o'clock on Tuesday. Is that measurable? All right, I'm getting pretty good response. Most half the people in the class believe that it's measurable, and the other might be still thinking about it. It is measurable because I can say, if I'm not there by Tuesday at 10 o'clock, I didn't meet the goal. But if I'm there at Tuesday at 10 o'clock, that goal is done, right? And it's an active goal. I'm going to do something. I'm going there at 10 o'clock. It's realistic. I know I can get there. I have a bus pass, or I have someone in my family or someone who looks after me that can get me there. And it's timed. There's a date on it. I'm going to have it done by that date. OK? Give me a smiley if this is kind of helping to say what could be a very detailed, smart goal. Smileys, all right? If, if you're getting it, give me a frowny if you're kind of confused. It's OK when you're confused. It looks like most people are getting the SMART goal. Now, last week, I asked everybody to go and give us three goals. So you can see these are a few of the goals that we got last week. Now, some of you are right in there, and you did it last week. All right. And some of you haven't done so yet. So what I want you to do right now is go and you're going to find a blank screen, OK? You're going to find a blank screen. Whoops. I'm going to put in a few more blank screens here, because you're going to need them. All right, I put in a few more. And the way to find a blank screen is to click on that drop-down menu and go to one of the public screens or to your name, OK? So can everybody do that? And what I want you to do is check the goals you wrote last week, OK, and see if you've got them done. And if you didn't, I want you to write three goals for this week, OK? Three goals for this week. And these are different than uh, the ones that we're putting on our, our goals and gains just by virtue that these are something we're going to do within a week. OK, that we know. Our goals and gains, we're trying to do within a day. OK, so you're writing a specific goal, very specific, measurable. OK. All right, 
So I'm going to go and take a look at how people did. You write on there if you got it done. So you're going to put either a green check mark from the clip art. So Mackenzie, drop down to your slide. And give me a green check mark if you have a slide now and you know where to write your goals. OK? There you go. So people are, Mackenzie's on hers. Let's see here. I'm going to flip through. Uh, you're going to drop down to here. I'll bring in a slide that shows you how to drop down to the other. Hold on. Let me find my slide here. All right, so to uh, move around in the screen, hold on, I'm going to steal everybody back for a minute. You just click on that drop down menu at the top, and then you'll be able to see a whole bunch of screens. If you haven't done this yet, you're going to click on a public screen. If you've done it already, you're just going to go to your own screen. OK, smileys, if that makes sense. OK, here we go. So now you're on Rome, and you can click on that little button and either find your name or find a blank screen, and then give me a green check mark. And what I'm going to do now is just stop this for a minute. Okay. So people who are watching the recording possibly uh, just keep making SMART goals. All right, we'll see them on your uh, goals and gains. And when you're in the eLive, we'll get you to do this exercise. And uh, keep working on all of your work. Let me come back here. And then when you're in the eLive, we'll do the planning. Uh, take a look at your planning calendar and pick your semester two classes. OK? So that's what we're going off to do right now. And we'll talk to you in the recording a little bit later.